I am doing this reading on um, the last week of July. So this first card, as I mentioned with the other sign, is usually like residual energy and especially more so because it's in the reverse position. So this is something that you've dealt with. And um, that's why like, you know, this is potentially a very painful card. However, in the reverse position, it does indicate that, you know, the healing process has begun. And at this point in your life, you still feel the sting a little bit, but it's not going to hurt you as much, okay? Thinking back on it, it's going to be a little bit um, still like mentally. It's it's still hard to overcome it, and, but in your heart, you know that this is a situation that you cannot go back to. And because of it, you have found closure within yourself in the way you handle the situation or in the things that transpired. So for this month... Um, I do sense that this is something that happened, you know, in July, June, July. So it's not going to be problematic moving forward. Um, you do have a lot of air signs in your life for a lot of you. Um, so air signs are Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. And for some reason, I've been seeing it for a few months now. And you're dealing with somebody who's got their guard up and who's just... Um, you know, first of all, it's fire and air. It's a very combustible type of energy. You know, without um, without air, fire can't really expand. And um, so it's sort of like the other the other party feels as if they're doing a lot of the work to maintain the relationship, whereas you feel that you're doing a lot of the work. So it's basically arguing over imbalances within relationships. And at the same time, there are definitely value system or um, issues regarding family planning, issues regarding like um, there's a very strong element of family, how to how to plan for a family, how to like um, rear a child, differences in like um, customs in the in in the generational gap in the way people approach motherhood, fatherhood, parenting in general. So there's that element coming into play coupled with the fertility card in the reverse position. So I do feel that there is definitely a cultural difference or even a values difference regarding what is, um, you know, like what is the right gender role, how to be a good mother, how to be a good father, what is expected of, you know, specific gender roles. So this is a very family oriented type of spread. And at the heart of it, we have like a, the silver lining here, in which, you know, both sides love one another tremendously. Okay, so whoever it is that you're dealing with, rest assured that, you know, there's a lot of love coming from you. There's a lot of from you to them, there's a lot of love coming from them to you. But being able to see eye to eye with one another, that's the hard part. And that's something that is going to require a major shifts and major compromises from one party or the other. So something is coming in here regarding child rearing, regarding like family practices, family planning, even or lack thereof. Um, there might be like unexpected pregnancies for a lot of you or um, somebody in your family might be a little bit too young and they're trying to, um, they're not able to raise a child on their own. So everyone is like chipping in and talking about, you know, maybe she or telling, um, you know, giving their opinion about what this person should do with their body. And, you know, they're doing it from a place of love. But I do feel that it's none of their business and ultimately it should be left up to, you know, this person and his or her partner to decide what it is they want to do with that um, situation, okay? So aside from that, I do feel that um, this is an ongoing debate. It happened in the past and um, you've agreed to disagree or at least you've come to a compromise. But then for this month, is coming back in, is rearing its head again, and a big discussion needs to be had. So what I'm sensing here is don't be alarmed by the tower because I do feel that you're going to be in a good place. So this is um, more than anything because of the sword energy, is, uh, which indicates communication ideas. And even, you know, it's a king energy, so it does indicate compromises. Compromises in, in, um, in a belief that you hold true and or somebody is compromising somebody is starting to come along and i do feel that someone is making a great compromise a great sacrifice in order to appease you because i do see the king and the queen energy here is you know somebody who is holding their ground they're not budging and at this point 
they're kind of like laying down the law or they're at least stating up front what it is that, you know, they want. So the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands are representative of you. Okay, so you're kind of like um, sitting back and you have already established your boundaries with other people. You have already told them what it is that you need and want out of this interpersonal relationship. As, and especially like um, for those of you who are negotiation negotiating salary increases, for example, you are stating once and for all, I've done a lot for this company. I have delayed, you know, my child rearing years or ha I have invested um, my child rearing years, the best years of my life. And I've worked for you. You know, I've done above and beyond the nine to five. I was always there when the company needs me. So this is what I deserve. And when you're able to put your foot down, that's when the other team will realize that um, the other side will realize like, you know, this is it. This is the deal breaker type of month in which, you know, they need to decide if they're willing to um, accept your terms or to proceed without you. And I do feel that a lot of you, they are going to meet you halfway, okay? Because you're sitting in a very firm position right here. And more than anything, in the upright position indicates to me in general that um, whatever it is that you're demanding, you're not... Um, you're not overstepping your boundaries. You know, it's not like you're demanding the world of somebody who can't deliver. You are within your rights to demand these things because you deserve these things. So it's not like you're even taking advantage of, uh, advantage of a situation in which a company or a lover really needs you. you. You are stating up front what it is minimally that you deserve and that you need in order to progress forward. So it's a good energy it's important to assert yourself and i feel that you're doing it in a very logical in a very like fair and even-handed manner as well um one other thing i do feel here is that um you know whatever this conflict is it's going to end in a very um it's going to have a resolution for this month there is something kind of like brimming up coming to the surface and something is going to get resolved it's definitely going to have a resolution. And I do feel it is going to be in your favor, okay, because of these two cards. So towards the end of this month, like possibly the last two weeks from the 16th until the 31st or so, I do feel the energy dissipating. And you both are kind of like um, picking up the pieces and you have decided how to move on. But in the process of moving on, um, you're kind of like testing the water a little bit and you're tr you're trying to like sit back to see if the other party is willing to, um, I, I guess, put words to action. So they might have promised you, you know, I'm going to give you a salary increase starting now. I'm going to give you a personal assistant. And then you're waiting, you're assessing, you know, exactly when that's going to come into the picture. Or if it's your relationship partner and you both have agreed that, you know, oh, I don't want kids and this is something I don't want or I do want kids and the partner is not seeing eye to eye with you on that. I do feel there is going to be a moment of truce coming through in which you both can at least figure out what it is that you want to do so that you can like unblock the stalemate and move on. And you're kind of sitting back and waiting for them to come through with concrete actions, okay? And um, how it plays out, I do feel, is kind of like to be determined. But I do feel in general, it is going to be um, in your favor because, you know, like I said, you're kind of sitting pretty here. And I do sense as well, if this is a complaint of your partner, okay, this is uh, for a very specific um, group of Aries, male or female. If your partner has been complaining about, you know, lack of... Um, lack of contribution from your end and whoever whatever sign your partner might be if there is a partner in your midst that has constantly complained about lack of contribution from your end and um, I pulled out these cards to qualify what the tower refers to I do feel that um, a, a new sense of kind of like putting yourself in the other's shoes is going to be in order here okay because um I do feel that if your partner is complaining about this, and you can always think back and see if there's any validity to what they're saying, if there, there's, 
they're telling you that like, you know, I do put in a lot of the lake work in this relationship. I plan everything and, um, um, you know, I, I need you to chip in to help. And uh, the only danger of that is, you know, this might not be something that you're aware of because you're kind of bogged down with other things. And I know with a lot of Aries, um, you don't really like um, look at the details. And for you, you're a very generous sign. Fire signs in general, you are very generous. So you don't really keep tabs of who's doing what. And it's, it's not in your vocabulary to keep tabs and to be petty. But because of it, you might overlook like, you know, truths that... The other party has been probably saying for years. So there is that element of, you know, um, not sitting back, not sitting back and not holding yourself or not, um, I guess, like, um, you might overlook that there are imbalances in the relationship. You know, you might not have uh, realized. So this concept here of, you know, the Eight of Swords which indicates, you know, being left in the dark, not knowing where you stand with other people. And um, this energy in a situation where your past relationship partner has complained that you're not putting in the work, I do feel for that small uh, minority of you. This is something that is like coming out of the left field and you have to really take some time to mold it over and, you know, rehash the past and see how if there's any validity to what they're saying. And I do feel that is going to be something that allows you to navigate the situation, okay? Because um, these two cards relate to what the tower refers to. So it's something that you're not aware of, something coming into the picture that you're not aware of that could be problematic, but once made aware of it, you are going to be able to change the way you approach this situation, you approach this partner. And there is at least going to be communication regarding, you know, how you can fix things or how you can bring, I guess, like, um, balance the scale, especially if it's give or take, okay? Like, um, who's doing what in the relationship? Who's doing all the legwork? Who's contributing what? And, you know, those things don't really matter in the grand scheme of things when you're in love, but um, they do cause a lot of resentment in long-term established relationships between people um people it sense in imbalances very um very acutely and um there's always like you know overt or covert ways to rectify these imbalances and people don't always operate at their best when they try to correct them so it's it's important to just have a discussion but you know having that channel of communication open is going to be vital more than anything so um, I do feel a little bit of a carefree ener energy about you for this month. And I do feel that, um, especially on the work front, things are actually going really well uh, in terms of financial payout, in terms of like overindulgence and um, possibly procrastinating until the very last minute. That's one other thing I want to warn you about, because um, what I'm sensing here is just, you know, a lot of um, socializing a lot of fun, a lot of, um, a lot of like good tidings coming through. It's like the, the only phrase that I can think of. So you're kind of like, um, floating in the clouds and you're feeling quite good actually. And a lot of you might be dating an air sign. Okay. Like an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. And for some reason, this air sign is, um, kind of like drawing you out of your comfort zone, which is, which feels really nice. And it's always empowering to, you know, uh, take that first step to do something that is not usually like in our habit to do. So you're feeling quite good at this point. And because of it, um, I guess like real world responsibilities are kind of like cast aside. Okay. And then what happens is towards the end of the month, you're looking back and you have all these things that you need to catch up on. And time is limited. So that's the other danger I want to warn you about. Okay. But aside from that, I do feel that it is going to be a really nice month. You have the wish card as well. So whatever it is that you've been hoping for, and I do feel like if it's related to fertility, if it's related to like family planning and things like that, it is going to require a big discussion, but things, or at least your partner will come um, around to your way of doing things. Okay. Uh, one last thing is that I do feel there are going to be um, your your partner, well, your um, your in-laws or your mom, your dad, your immediate family, especially like mother and father figures, 
are going to be like in the picture affecting your relationship as well for this month. So if there has been like recurring um, fa patterns within family dynamics, such as, you know, the, um, the wife is like always, always at home cooking and the father is, um, feels very entitled to come home and just um, lounge around and never, ever help with the housework, even though they both work. I do feel that whole, you know, gender role stereotypes and things like that will creep into the picture and um, the way that, you know, you're socialized and the household that you grow up in and the gender roles that you, that you kind of like see in your parents um, might be different from that of your spouse. So there might be conflict regarding what is appropriate for a man to do, what is appropriate for a woman to do. So there needs to be that discussion, and especially, I do feel that if it's specifically in a family type of situation or in a family type of dynamics in which, you know, you're kind of deciding on, like, um, who does the, the housework? You know, we both work. We both have a, a nine-to-five job. When we come home, is it fair for the woman to always um, cook and clean and things like that? So this situation needs to be discussed in a significant relationship. I do feel a lot of you, um, just because of this card, it's a, it's a family oriented card and it's also like suppressing the feminine. So, and it's also next to the King of Wands, but he is in the right, uh, upright position. So whoever it is that you're in the, um, relationship with, I do feel that, you know, they were brought up a, a certain way and you know childhood conditioning is like years and years in the making so whatever it is that we've experienced as as children whatever it is that we um see in our own family dynamics those are the things that we're going to emulate when we get into relationships with other people so they're like long established patterns and and um ways of behaving that are really hard to shake so rest assured that whoever it is that you're in a romantic relationship with that you are thinking possibly of you know going um getting possibly living together or getting married with them i do feel there's that element of um childhood upbringing and things like that coming to the picture in which you're not seeing eye to eye so this discussion needs to be had and then a, a shift in paradigm is going to come through as a result of this communication breakthrough between the two of you okay so that's like the major energy i do feel coming through and um there's also this element here and this is not going to apply for everyone but i do feel that um there is Okay, so a lot of you might be dealing with like a mother figure who has been, um, you know, who, who has been unfairly treated by her, her ex-spouses or her ex-partners um, in the past. And with it, she's bringing, you know, she's well-intentioned, but she's bringing in kind of like a, a suspicious, a, a sort of like negative energy. And it's affecting the way you view relationships in general. So a lot of you might be dealing with like a mother figure who has been very jaded with life and she's trying her best to protect you the only way she knows how. And that is, you know, mothers are always telling their sons and daughters to be careful. And, um, you know, especially with someone who's been through a lot in her life specifically. And um, she will tell you to be to be like suspicious and, you know, there's no basis for that because um, she doesn't understand that you are dealing with a different set of people and her life experience is, you know, specific only to her. So it's, it's just different. It, it might be inappropriate for her to, um, to bring all these suspicions into your relationships. So there's that element of, like, family members meddling in a very good relationship that has a lot of stability. And because of it, people are just like... Um, kind of, um, kind of like, um, just people meddling in your relationship, especially like family members. So it's a little bit troublesome, but, um, I do feel, you know, in all relationships, communication is going to be, um, required in order for any success and any, in order for people to be like in successful and stable and healthy relationships. So that needs to be addressed. Anything that comes up for this month, needs to be addressed and it needs to be done in a way that will um, allow both parties to compromise, okay?